Like a lot of 14-year-old girls, Becky Flint likes to dress up. It's like my favorite anime ever. And dance. <laughs> Becky's a fan of Japanese cartoon characters and dances to J-pop, Japanese pop music. She started posting her performances on YouTube. Millions watched, much to her surprise. I watch it back and I just, I just think, what am I doing? Because I'm just like, ah, it's, <laughs> it's hilarious. The funny thing is, 6,000 miles away from her picturesque home on the Isle of Man between England and Ireland, Japanese fans were going crazy. A Japanese producer snapped her up, changed her name, and put her on tour. Her debut DVD soared to number eight. Becky Cruel's become a household name in Japan. Somebody behind me said, Becky Cruel, and, and like a lot of people just came up to me. So it the, was so cool. The power of the internet launched Becky's career from this remote, windswept island to fame and fortune on the other side of the globe. But here in her hometown, her success remains something of a mystery. Do you know who she is? No. Do you know who Becky Cruel is? No. You don't? No. Rebecca Flint. Nope. How do her surprised parents feel about her fame? Main thing is, we'd like her to be happy, so as long, for as long as she's happy doing what she's doing. At the moment, anyway, she's loving it. You must. Yeah, I, I definitely do. I oh. mean, you'd be silly not to, really. The big dream is to crack America. You saw her here first. Charlie Daggett of CBS News on the Isle of Man.